Driven development. And these companies, they are holding a principal role in the market. Since the 40 years of reform and opening up, especially after the 18th Party Congress, we could see the innovation capacity for the enterprises has significantly improved, especially when they are making decisions. And in terms of the investment of innovation, as well as the commercialization of design tech achievements, these enterprises they have done a lot of work. In terms of the investment, as I said last year, the total investment for Scientec is about 2.79 trillion yuan, among which 76 percent came from the enterprises. So in terms of this intensity, we could see the investment is quite big in scale. And second, as for the commercialization of the achievements, they said the contract values amount to 3.7 trillion yuan and 90 percent came from the enterprises. Third, in terms of the organizing capacity, 79 percent of the plans were initiated or led by the enterprises. For the high-speed train, nuclear power, new energy, vehicles, and the Winter Olympic Games, as well as the anti-epidemic fight, all of these initiatives are actually led by enterprises. In the past, for the enterprises, they're focusing on the technology, and right now they're focusing on the basic research and also the innovation on the basic research. And the enterprises have become a leading role in this regard. Going next, the enterprises will become a leading role in the innovation. There's a long way ahead of us. So for the Ministry of Science and Technology, we'll continue to show support because we have to abide by the socialism with Chinese characteristics. Yes, we are now in the market economy, so for these high-tech enterprises, they will play a leading role. So we are considering whether or not to have these companies take on more sign tech projects, and we also need to foster a good ecosystem, and also they need to abide by the general principle proposed by General Secretary Xi Jinping. They have to consider the future direction of China and also the development of the enterprises so as to achieve a win-win outcome. And of course, the enterprises need to come up with more talents. For example, how to pick the talents from 1.4 billion people. And also, the enterprises need to play a keying role during the collaboration between the enterprises, universities, and the research institutes. Some of the leading enterprises should lead the innovation with the SMEs. So no matter what is the size of the enterprises or the property of the enterprises, all of these enterprises could be served as the main body for the innovation. As long as they have this capacity, they could make their contribution in the innovation. And for the sign tech companies, they need to become the leader for the innovation. For the SMEs, they also need to find their specialty in terms of the innovation so as to pursue more progress and further development. So SOEs and also the private enterprises, they're the same in terms of creating innovation. And also China will have set up the high-tech zones to promote the innovation. For example, the Zhongguanzun and other high-tech zones, they also facilitate with the innovation. As I said, in terms of the investment, the enterprises contribute 76 percent of the investment. 
which is above half of the investment. And most of the investment actually come from the high-tech enterprises. And in the high-tech zones, we also need to consider the per capita, which generates three times of the outcome. And also we have to consider the energy consumption of those innovation companies. And of course, for high-tech companies, they will provide a driving force to promote the high-quality development. We will continue to follow the innovation-driven development in China. And hopefully, for these high-tech companies, they can foster a healthy ecosystem.